I saw it written out clearly. Testify. 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 I saw Hello, family. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Um, I am your friend and sister. Blessing. And I'm here again with a quick word. Hallelujah. I'm here again with a quick word. As I was praying this morning, I saw it clearly written out. Testify. Testify. I didn't see it once. I saw it a couple of times. So many times it was written out. I, I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it. Even when I came on the live broadcast today, I kept saying it testify. And I knew I needed to share that word with you. And I know it's not just for me. It's for you also. And this is what it is. It could mean so many things. But when I sat and I was thinking about it, the what was coming to me is that a lot of people are going to testify in this season. It is time for them to testify. It is time for them to testify. It is time for them to testify. And not only that, there are some people whom the Lord has blessed. They have received their testimony and they have not testified. So this is also your time and your season to testify of that past testimony, that past blessings that you received, that testimony you've been holding, it's time for you to testify. Because when you testify, the Lord will do more for you. And when I looked up, I already know the meaning of testify. But I said, let me just go ahead and look up what it means. What testify means. Testify, when I look up, it says testify to testify is to give one's testimony, to tell the story of how God has blessed them, how they became a Christian, or to for a specific event in their Christian life, in a Christian's life, in which God did something. God did something. That is something there. In which God did something. That's the key word. In which God did something deemed particularly worth sharing. We go through so many things in life. We face challenges, many challenges, trials, temptations, difficult situations. We desire some things in life and we pray and ask God, to grant those things to us, to give those things to us. And when the Lord answers and does it for us, it's our duty to return back, to thank God, to return back, to testify of that good thing that the Lord has done. And when you testify, it encourages some other people. It encourages others. It makes them begin to feel in their spirit that if the Lord did it for them, he will do surely do it for me. It increases their faith. When God does something to, for you, when God does something life-changing in your life, in our lives, he does, he does it for his glory. Not just for our own benefit, for his own glory too. For his glory. So we own it to God. We own it to him and to others to testify of God's goodness, of God's blessings, of his mighty deeds in our lives. And that's how we defeat the enemy. Because we, dis we defeat the enemy. We defeat the enemy. If you look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. If you have your Bible, open to the book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 reads, it's a very popular scripture, but I want us to read it together. 
and it reads, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. That's how we defeat the enemy. That's how we defeat the enemy of our soul. When we testify, it opens the way for more blessings. Never, never, never must we underestimate the power of testifying, the power of testimonies. I always share with my people in, my, in the ministry, share your testimonies. When you share your testimonies, the Lord will do more for you. I always encourage to share. There's nothing like small, small testimony. There's nothing like little. As far as you cannot do that thing and God did it for you, you need to share it to his glory. We shouldn't underestimate the power of testifying of what God has done for us. What he has done for you and what he has done for me. Because it encourages others. When we testify, it is an art of thanksgiving and worship to God. It's an art of thanksgiving and worship to God. You are recommending God to someone. Telling that person that God is the solution to any problem, situation, difficulties, whatever it is. God is. When you testify, it opens up the way for more blessings. I've said that before. When you testify, it confirms your faith in God. I shared that with my people in today's live broadcast. When you testify, it puts the devil to shame and frustrates his plans. I need you plans against your life when you testify it edifies the listener and the one who testifies too so right from today do not hold your back your testimony do not keep your testimony to yourself share be sure to testify of God's goodness of his faithfulness towards you be grateful be grateful. Be very, very grateful. For there is great power in your testimony. There's great power in your testimony. There's great power in your testimony. And I'm going to round up with this scripture. If you look at the book of Psalms, chapter 66, verse 16. Psalms, chapter 66, verse 16. Chapter 66, verse 16, and it reads, Come and hear, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he has done for my soul. Invite them, say, come and hear what the Lord has done for me. He has done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. Come and hear, all ye that fear the Lord. Come, and I will declare, I will tell, I will testify, I will let you know what he has done for my soul, what he has done in my life, in my family, in my home, in my marriage. So right from today, do not hold back your testimony. Share. Bless someone. Let someone be blessed from your testimony. What you don't understand when you share your testimony, it rubs off. It does. People's faith grows, increases as you share your testimony. That one person listen to your testimony we know for sure if she is sharing god did it for her he will do it for me even in this ministry there's a lot of testimonies and i'm always i always post them and share them and if the lord does it for her if the lord is doing it for her doing it for her doing it for her he will do it for you have faith do not hold back your testimony even as i said i saw it clearly written out testify 
you will testify of God's goodness. This is your season to testify. This is your season to testify of God's deeds, God's blessings. That bread you'll be waiting for is coming your way. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And you who have been holding back your testimony, it's time to share. Release that testimony so that you can receive more. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I know this message has been a blessing to someone. Someone who is watching, who is watching this, this message has been a blessing to you. So do not hold back your testimonies no longer. Share it. Let it bless someone. Let someone be blessed from that testimony. And most importantly, know that when you share that testimony, it's to the glory of God. Not just to your own benefit, but to the glory of God. So God bless you. Shalom. And remain blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for connecting and thank you for watching. You shall testify. Your testimony is guaranteed. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.